Guys, the first thing I wanted to ask you about was sort of the action style in sure. this movie, because I think it's something that is unlike any of the other Marvel movies, and right. I was curious what your guys' influences were for that. Uh, we've always found that the best way to approach filmmaking is from your own point of view, right? Uh, whatever your taste is, is, that's what you should put into the movie. And there's, there's a wide array of influences, just growing up as sort of film geeks and comic book geeks that, that, uh, that we use for the movies. 70s style filmmaking was a huge influence on, on the film, just in terms of action, as a sort of, you know, as I was just saying, sort of protracted action where there's story points that turn, and it's not dialogue that's turning it, it's action that's turning it. Part of our creative process has always been, you know, finding like incongruous elements to, to put together and see what, and figure out a way to marry them and, and see what that does. And there was just something irresistible about taking a cinematic style that's associated with realism and naturalism and, uh, you know, shooting a, an unreal superhero world with that style. And, you know, some of the funnest action sequences in the movie for us are these long sequences without a lot of dialogue. You know, you can see it when uh, Nick Fury's trapped in his car, these tension moments where you're taking very likable characters and putting them in situations where you're not quite sure how they're going to escape. Warning, approaching intersection. Get me off the grid! So, how did you go about sort of preparing yourselves to work? with the green screen element, and You know what's interesting about it is that, well, there's two answers to this. One is that, you know, in, when we're working in television community, we did a lot of green screen work on that show, and the principles apply across the board. It's, you're still there with the crew on set with actors, you're still filming it the same way. So on a movie of this scale, there's just more money in post to finish it. Uh, so a lot of that work is done in post, and it's done beyond us. So what's required of us is very similar to what has been required of us for years. Uh, and then the other answer to that question is working with Marvel, a great, great company, one of the great companies in the film business, filled with exceptional, talented, intelligent people uh, and, and a real support system. I mean, you'll notice that Marvel isn't afraid to, um, to, to work with directors who don't, may not have the most experience in that, in that mm -hmm. type of work. And it's um, it's for uh, one because I think they have the confidence to that they, they they have that dimension well supported within them within their company. And two, it's like uh, they like bringing sort of uh, different points of view into the genre. Marvel, your universe.